All right, guys, we're going to have a little adventure. It's 5.45 in the morning, Monday, uh, the 29th of November. We're going to go buy another Equinox. So, found this one. This will be my fourth one I bought, the 800s. Uh, it's kind of been cheaper to just buy them and then sell the detector off and take the accessories I want. So, this one has the little baby coil, the six inch sniper coil. And it's almost brand new. It's less than a year old, so it's got a lot of warranty left. And so, we're gonna go get it and then we'll list the other one. So we're gonna run out to Boulder City. This guy's from Bullhead City, Arizona. I'm going to Boulder City. We're gonna meet him roughly halfway there. I'm gonna go get Robert. We're gonna go do some detecting out in Boulder City. I had my little run over there the day I spent over there and hit up four parks. So it was a pretty good day. So we're gonna see if we can uh, do that one again while it's dark. It's gonna be light though. The sun's coming up. Anyway, stick around for our adventure. All right, guys, we're out here at Veterans Memorial Park in Boulder City. We're gonna have a look around, see what we can find. Wait for the Knox detector. It's just target of the park. It's a uh, 11.45. There we go. Oh, a nice shiny quarter right on top. State quarter. We'll take it. Going toward paying off our new Knox we're buying today. We got our CTX 3030 out here. Just doing the rounds, checking things out. All right, guys, an 1123. It's a uh, 223 round casing. Yeah. Interesting thing to find, even in a park clear out here. But throw it in the case and keep going. All right, guys. Well, I guess Boulder City no longer allows metal detecting in the city park. So we are now in the city of Henderson. Where so far, metal detecting still allowed. It's kind of a messed up thing. We're gonna write the Boulder City people a nice letter. Uh, disapproving of their thing. I guess they passed it like three months ago. So the last time I was out there, it was good. But as anywhere, there's a problem, they always overreact to it. So uh, anyway, we will get back to you with our first find at this park. Yeah. So anyway, guys, man, we've had people out here digging in these parks too. People are digging holes and breaking sprinklers and doing all sorts of stuff they're not supposed to be doing. And uh, it's going to end up costing the metal detecting com groups uh, a lot. Because you're going to get banned out of all these parks. And when you're banned out of all these parks, there ain't going to be no place else, else left to go out here. So think about it. If you've got any questions, contact me on my page and go through the top. Well, maybe he's right on top. Not what I felt. There he is, right there. Another quarter. Yeah, these people screw up our parks. We're not going to have any place to go detecting besides people's front lawns, which is going to really steep. Got us a surface fine, guys. Oh, pig down, pig down. Yeah. Clean him up and get him off the trail here. Alright guys, another quarter extracted. Spread eagle. 1985. Well, hopefully by the time you guys have uh got around to this video since I'm so far behind. I might have to make a video and kind of uh do the do's and don'ts for metal detecting in Las Vegas and Henderson and Right now, Boulder City is shut down to metal detecting in their parks, which is crap. Not like you go out there that much, but they've had vandalism and stuff like that in these parks, and it is just, it's going to get shut down for all metal detecting, which is not good. We want to be able to come out and enjoy the, the hobby, so this is why people are going to get kicked out. And that might have been a dog. Uh, Alarm's going off. That might have been a dog digging that, but I doubt it. Anyone let their dog sit out here and dig. Yeah, I don't uh, 
don't get that. That is not uh, what this sport's about. Yeah, you have all these clumps of dirt out here. This is where protecting. Look at that. Look at that. Unless there's a coyote or something digging up out here. We are out in the desert. That's either really poor. But yeah, look at that. That is like tufts of turf. That is not uh, okay. Alright guys. See? You can't see those there. Poked a hole. Got 50 cents out of it. it was done, so coin spill there. There might be a little more. We're going to look around. See what else is on the uh, big detector here. Okay, so we just did a, our felt like doing a drug deal outside of a uh, thing. Got our little sniper cable. Our new Equinox here. Brand new practically. We have phones new everything. So we're going to have some fun with the sniper coil here and see what we can get. Alright, we got our new uh, pinpointer here, the Profine 35 that came with this, so we're going to have our first target, uh, oh, I can see right on top there, first target with a sniper coil, <laughs> the pull tab, that's okay, I knew it was right on top, and I knew what it most likely was, so, I guess this should be our first quarter with our, uh, Baby uh, coil. Pop it up and out of there. There he is. State's quarter for us. Alright, got our first sniper sniper coil nickel. Definitely easier to separate targets, but boy, I ain't covering much ground with this thing, that's for sure. That's kind of funny. Another sniper coil quarter. Just working through this is a interesting little coil a lot of fun Let's see how long it takes for it to paper itself <laughs> all right this one's jumping all over a battery pack a little car or something 100 milliamps do not throw this away i'm gonna throw it away because i have no use for it There's a little, i thought it might have been a ring it's not though Oh, the next best thing to rings and keys. We got dog tags. Got both of them off of this one. Whole little ring fell off, so. Hmm. Something new, wondered why it was all over the place, but you got an iron ring with aluminum tags. Hey, right, this is how you get them. Just kind of part the grass. Apparently there's not grass above quarters and coins because they lay flat. There's not enough soil for them to get a good root, so. Got our quarter. Oh, keep on going. Yeah, this is going to be a can most likely. Oh, car. Yeah. He got hit by the lawnmower. He had issues. There we go. Throw him in the pouch and keep on going. All right, 1617. It's a ring shape, but not a ring. Some kind of a tab off of something that snapped. Throw it in the pouch. Keep on going. Don't know how many live digs I'm going to do today, guys. Limited on battery and I'm a long way from home. Yeah, it's kind of a weird number for a Zinkin, but it's been clobbered by the lawnmower. And it's a zincan. I think anything goes. Except for spending it. That doesn't ever happen. <laughs> yep. Alright. We got that uh, credit battery out of the ground. Not too bad. It's still usable. Oh yeah. It's, it's still in pretty usable. good shape. A, I found yeah. worse. That's a serious It's heavy though, man. Think of the grams on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where'd you find it? I'm surprised I didn't catch Oh, that, you know why I didn't catch it? Because I'm in the gold mode. Yeah, there ain't no gold here. Yeah, I've got. I think we need gold. to go. That's why, so I can just hunt for uh, high tones. 
I don't think there's enough uh, use here. Yeah. Now, guys, we finally got a ring for the day. Definitely looking pretty junky. But, definitely flaking. It's looking shinier after it flakes, so who knows? Not very heavy. Shocked it showed up as metal. Anyway, we'll throw it in the pouch and keep going. Alright, guys. Well, for getting the new Knox with a little coil, we had a pretty good day coin wise. Pretty uneventful on some of the other stuff. We got uh, a couple shell cases, which is always amazing. Those show up in the park. Some junky steel stuff. Always get those 2324s. They sound awesome. You want them to be a giant gold ring, but they're not. Got that giant chain. Just sitting right on top of the grass. How that stuff ends up there and doesn't get picked up. Got our surface fine pig. Our one and a half cars. The rabies tag. We got that little battery guy. Little bling ring junker. We got the alum in Antonio. <laughs> the Alamo. Should have found the rest of that. We got six dollars and twenty-five cents in quarters. Dollar ten in dimes, twenty cents in nickels, and twenty-two cents in mostly crusty zinc, and just practicing with that little six-inch coil. So that's going to be a challenge. It's definitely a learning curve. You definitely have to slow down with it. So, anyway, thanks for uh, coming along with our adventure today. We had a lot of fun. Got a lot of stuff done, and we will see you on our next one.